<lacht> you can't just spoiler people when doing mathematical stuff. And spoiler alert, this integral is going to the A to zero. Oh my goodness, Papa, why did you spoiler us? Tony Stark dies in Avengers. I for myself never did something shameless like this. Never ever. <laughs> oh! This is a test, test. What's, What's going, going on, on highly people? intelligent individuals? That's harder to say than um, expected, to be honest. This has been a little Andrew Dodson reference. And today we are going to do something really legendary. It's the first here on my channel. It's going to be a meme, meme review. You. Meme review. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So I don't really know how to do something like this. I've watched Andrew's physics meme reviews for once in a while, sometimes at least one or two and yeah we are going to try it out actually so um i hope you can see my browser in a second it should be here probably yeah that, that should be the place where my browser is going to be and we're going to take a look at reddit at first okay so this is something we are going to do and after that maybe at mathematical mathematic memes and if you did enjoy this video please tell me so that i can do more if you insist so Let's dive right in. When math majors graduate, do they get degrees or radiance? That's a stupid question. Obviously, they get radiance, okay? Um, it's pretty quite cool that someone got something for him just because he graduated. I don't know why anyone would celebrate something like this. I don't know. When I finished my undergrad stuff, people just said, yeah, we already knew that you would do this successfully so there wasn't really any reason to celebrate but yeah um <laughs> i'm so lonely <laughs> no one likes me no one has expectations for me i'm just here i'm just existing so um oh goodness complex eminem the real slim shady and the imaginary slim shady I'm pretty fucking afraid of imaginary numbers. They are so complex. <laughs> they are so hard to handle. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> they are complex. Ooh. Oh, I I don't even want to look at this. So, um this already looks like it sucks. You see, so it has question mark notation down here. Um I guess this right here is what you call uh, let's take a look at the full image. Yeah, that's what you probably call a proof by intimidation. So if you take a look at the first few things written in here. So I'm not going to take a look at that. You know that a meme is not too good if it has a lot of text in it. When you're trying to solve a system of linear equations using matrices. <laughs> oh shit, here we go again. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a good one. That, that's a really good one, I have to admit. That one's good. That's a nice um, little pun right here. Oh shit, here we go again. Oh goodness. Um, I I have to save this one right here for my biology homework. <laughs> Tell you this. Uh, that's a good one. Props to the guy who actually uh, brought this out. That's, that's fun. <laughs> when you spend 30 minutes remaking a meme in Desmos calculator and it gets lost in new... Cha-cha. <laughs> move. Ah, oh, goodness. That's so abysmal. I I really like when you go to Wolfram Alpha and you type in, for example, um, a plot of Hitorachan, so you know who I mean. Hitorachan. Best waifu overall. Yeah, um, it's quite fun that you can even get a 3D curve of a cow from Wolfram Alpha, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. Let's write it out. It's, it's really cool. Okay, um... Yeah, I've never actually created a meme in Desmos. I leave this to the people who have too much time on their hands. I'm one of the um, persons who have a lot of time on their hands, but I don't want to spend this time for actually creating memes on Desmos. So I'm I'm out there. That's that's not something I do. 
props to the guys who actually do this. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> absolute power. Absolute value of x squared. A demonstration of absolute power. I think that's actually funny because you can use the multiplicative property of the absolute value to break this up into the absolute value of x times the absolute value of x, which is absolute value of x squared. So you can bring the power to the outside. <laughs> that's probably the joke behind it. I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand this meme, like with a lot of memes these days. I don't understand them. My boys, girls. When sine of theta is equal to theta. <laughs> okay, so basically I'm very small. That's a good one. That, that's a really cute one. And like the OP says, don't forget tangent. <laughs> you shouldn't forget the tangent because that's just, well, theta, actually. So tangent of theta is just theta. If you do small angle approximations or you just do it basically every time because, yeah, who cares about small angles? It's okay. Who needs trigonometric identities if you can just have first degree polynomials? <laughs> mm. I fear no man, says the square root, but that thing, negative one, it scares me. <laughs> Don't be scared, little fella. Don't be scared. You should be afraid of negative one times negative one and the square root of that because you can actually get to a contradiction if you're stupid enough. Stupid. <sighs> Bruh. That's a real bra moment right here. Press F to pay respects to the square root, to the third. My fellow students, when I tell them I'm switching to being a math major instead of sticking with engineering, it's Tresenden. No, it's not. It's not. You are just switching to something which has the same right to be on this planet as engineering, namely mathematics. Just it's way more pure than engineering and way more right. So, in other words, it's not wrong. So, mathematics, in my opinion, is pretty right. But engineering is pretty wrong most of the time. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. I'm going to hide behind my behind my microphone. You can't see me anymore. And since I'm a cat, that means if I can see you anymore, then you can see me anymore. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Engineering is something really good. Without engineers, you wouldn't have the setup right here, so you couldn't watch me do stuff here, so that's cool. What the heck, iPhone? iPhone X, iPhone Y, that's quite an old one, and now you are going to shift it a little bit, tilt it a little bit, to get iPhone Y is equal to X. Okay, then you are going to get a parabola and a cubic. Oh, <laughs> Y equals E to the X. That looks real fuck. That looks real fuck for an iPhone. The last one. I <laughs> I didn't see the last one coming. Um, I guess the the more you increase the power right there, so x to the fifth power minus y to the fifth power and so on to infinity, you are going to get more and more of a swastika there. So um, no, let's get rid of the swastika. When you think your limit can't be found, but then you realize you are ln x over x, you were eliminated by L'Hopital. This helps a lot, actually. This helps a lot, actually. So you can just differentiate top and bottom, and you are going to get something pretty nice. Probably. Yeah, so that's the limit you can actually evaluate. Probably. Try out um, the limit of, I don't know, e to the square root of x over x. If you differentiate that, yeah, that could probably be a pretty fuck. So yeah, try that out for yourself. Try out this with L'Hopital. <laughs> The derivative of every function, I can't even see shit. So, couldn't he even clean up the blackboard before actually writing a meme on there? I I don't even want to bother with that. I just leave this here. That's an Apple operator with um with a little sex toy in its mouth. Um, that's highly erotic. I would say mm -hmm, that's hot. Let me see e to the x, and then you can spit fire on this thing, and it's still going to be e to the x, so, yeah, differentiating this piece of shit doesn't really do any good, you can even put a little friend next to him, plus c, but in the fire his friend is going to burn, because e to the x is the only one who's going to stay here, <sighs> so powerful, it's indifferent when it comes to differentiation, you could say, 
Let me see if I can find anything else. If I don't, then we are going to switch to mathematical mathematic memes. Brought to you by Christopher Nijigovara, my boy. Let's take a look into the new meme section and let's see if we can find anything that we haven't seen before. So it looks like um, we already saw a lot of this stuff right here. Um, what's this? Join the fractal. Oh, goodness. Um, it <laughs> it's just like when I open OBS Studio and actually enable the, the preview and it's going to loop back and forward. So you see, you are just going to get this infinite line of um windows yeah that's that's quite a fractal right here so no matter how much you zoom in you're still going to get the same thing kind of or maybe a, a representation of one region there when you finish the desmos.com thanos meme you spend three hours making in hope that strangers on the internet will think it's cool <laughs> mm. it doesn't look too good up until now it should be snapped it should be snapped to scratch. Scratch. It should be snapped to ashes. Scratches. Ah! CJ memes are the best. Oh! Put a little big smoke meme in here. A periodic function after a period T. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Yeah. Um, yeah, last time I talked about periodic functions was actually on Thursday, yeah, in my Chaos Theory class, so yeah, there we were talking about periodic functions, so yeah, hasn't been too long ago, actually. Mathbook offers when they see 60 watermelons in the supermarket, they look like Filthy Frank, actually, oh, boy, yeah, um, <laughs> I don't like those kind of exercises. I really despise them. You have to read a lot for not so much information. So that's not something I approve of. I can tell you this much. And now maybe for the last meme, we are going to see what it is. Is it going to be epic? F of X equals to E to the X plus X plus C. Infinity War. F prime of X. End game. Did you just spoil up people on a math meme site? How dare you spoil up people on Endgame? Right here. How dare you? You can't just spoil up people when doing mathematical stuff. It's just something that does not work out. You shouldn't do that. You should be ashamed of yourself. I, for myself, never did something shameless like this. <laughs> Never ever. <laughs> and now, my boys and girls, for mathematical, mathematic memes. We are going to give it a shot. Let's see. Hail elliptic curves. <laughs> Hail Satan, I would say. Hail Satan. Hail Heil. Heil, I'm German, so I say Heil. Mm. That's not appropriate, I guess. What's the next one? Kowalski <laughs> and Alice <laughs> it's funny because they're actually <laughs> 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 I don't <laughs> I don't even know why I think this is so funny. I I mean it's a wall. Kowalski analysis. It's not even a math meme, right? <laughs> it's, it's just a stupid pun once again. <laughs> On to the next one. Here's the surreal meme guy. How many dimensions are you valid in? Like maybe two or three right now, my dude. <laughs> You're like a little baby. Watch this. And then he suddenly pops a little measure right there. And it's going to turn out pretty fabulous. Fucking Stokey. <laughs> Fear him. Mm, it's so powerful. 
we were using this in the first semester in our physics courses, mathematics one, you could say, mathematische Methoden eins, and no one knew shit about what we were actually doing, but someone introduced Stokes theorem and a lot of things were popping out of the sky and it was like magic. I actually used this one in the video of mine like a few days ago. Sure, you're going to integrate so for more stream and other hilarious jokes you can tell yourself extreme integration volume 2 i wonder i mean you can integrate it using upper and lower bounds but you can probably just go for the taylor series expansion of this thing i'm not really certain it really depends on your interval of convergence if you can actually turn it into a taylor series and then the other thing is can you safely interchange some mason summation and, and integration at that point because you need uniform convergence or absolute convergence i guess uniform convergence for it to work out so i'm not sure if you can actually kind of integrate the indefinite version or you can just say that this is a non-elementary anti-derivative so that that's something you can do i'm just thinking about it does it work out yeah it probably works out so this thing is actually riemann integrable so yeah it it should work out oh another one this time by Markus Kleiber if you are watching my boy love your memes you are part of my friends list on Facebook you should be proud that the papa actually added you here's Scooby Doo and his dudes they see a lot of stuff like yeah like stuff you find on physics all the time like the divergence over volume. Was it the divergence over volume? Yeah, I guess it was. Something like this. And then you pull off his mask and then you actually get Stokey's theorem brought to you by the meme man once again by the surreal meme guy. <laughs> <laughs> no one can write Seda the right way. No one can. I'm seriously trying my best on my channel but this thing is such a bitch to write i don't even know why it's it's so simple actually but you just can make it look good using pen and paper or a blackboard and chalk so <laughs> it's just something that doesn't work out actually so oh mr simpson surely you are kidding mr simpson surely you are kidding so we are close to being done. Let us take a look at one last meme. Maybe we can find something epic. <laughs> this meme review right, right here has been made not ethically. It has been made epically. <laughs> Thumbs up if you get the reference. So the last meme for today is without loss of generality. This girl dying right here. <sighs> So fucking stupid. <laughs> doesn't they, doesn't even make any sense. But thank you, Marcus Leiber, for giving another meme to me right here. I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this meme review, then um, please tell me so in the comments. I would like to go back to our boy. <laughs> Kowalski analysis. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> It's it's not even funny, probably, but ju just <laughs> look at this fucking window. It's so stupid. Oh boy. Um. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Recommend the channel if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, take a look into the description. There you can actually find links to my Patreon, or you can buy my T-shirts or whatsoever. And you can actually subscribe for free. So you should subscribe to the channel and up until the next video have a, a flammable day see ya kannst ruhig ein bisschen weiter werfen kleines bisschen